that. I feel like Dermot O'Leary. <laughs> Only he's more money than I have. As my mother would say, champagne, champagne lifestyle, lemonade and come. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are all very welcome to our Zest Fest here in Everglades. Um, what do all say? Come on, love and sit down, you're alright. Anybody want to come on on quick and sit down? Okay, so first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody here this evening. And believe it or not, I'm usually used to these things, but I'm actually quite nervous. Don't know what it is. I think it's because of the whole show and the whole hype. But anyway, we do remember what we're here for. So I'm over here. First of all, it's a privilege to be asked to come out and represent Zest this evening. Give Zest a round of applause, everybody. And if anybody would like to do this next year, we haven't even started yet, please give me a shout. I was talking to the girls and, and um, the, the fellas out the back there, and some of them was really, really nervous. And I said to them, you know, what I can say to you is, you know, if you're really nervous and you're breaking it before you come out, try and think to yourself, you know, what you're here for. And each one of them dancers and each one of you as well that bought tickets could be saving lives. And I know most of us um, here um, has our ups and downs and sometimes we're afraid to talk and sometimes we're afraid to show our feelings and how we are. And um, for me anyway, and speaking from experience, even I had a rough year myself, my enjoyment does coming out and getting my entertainment from musicians, even though you should think I'm entertaining musicians. <laughs> so what I will say is, and I love the wee quote that, um, that Zest had put for me, and I love it, a place where it is okay to be me. And I will say to each and every one of these, out there who may be struggling, it is okay to be you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk serious for five minutes and then we're going to get on the show. Is that all right? Yeah. You're right, love. <laughs> I feel like fucking Daniel Donald up here. <laughs> <laughs> I won't go off the stage, no, tell me not. I'm going to put on the glasses. I'm a bit like Alan Carr, so don't take me on. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tell you a wee bit about Zeft. Um, what they represent, what they are, and what they can do to help users as people and as human beings, whatever. So just give me a couple of minutes to stick these on. You're gorgeous! Oh, thanks. I must have the other part, love. Okay, so I will tell you that Zeph... Can you see? Told you, fur coat, no knickers. I am a guided girl. I wear my hairs and curls. I wear my skirts up behind me. I've even got no socks on. How's that? <laughs> this is what happens when you're an orphan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Right, can you shut up for five minutes? Okay, so I'm just going to get serious. We're all wonky. I'm going to get serious for three minutes. And then we're going to get on the show, okay? So first of all, just to let you know, Zest is situated in Queen Street. Although they have outreach centres in the north and in the south. Um, Zest is um, hurt. Sorry, Zest is hitting the hurt on Queen Street. It's a warm, friendly and welcoming place where you can relax and feel comfortable to talk about how you feel in confidence. What Zest does there, they provide like a counselling service. Um, they also do therapies, um, a telephone, um, you know, if you're struggling. They provide all that and anybody that's been touched by suicide. They also help with um, self-harm as well. They're a great, great organisation and they're lovely, lovely people. Trust me, they're really lovely. And when you go on there, you're, you're just met so beautifully at the door. Honest to God, I could not, I could not fault them. So please give them a round of applause because they do amazing work. <laughs> amazing work in this town and outside as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you now about the dancer. So the dancers have been dancing for three months. Most of them has to do Irish dancing as well as their own dancing styles. And they will come out and they perform and act. So what I want you to do, anybody that's representing here, the people that's dancing the night, try and give them as much loud squealing as you can and give them a good intro because some of them are really, really nervous. 
It is like X Factor, you can see. The good thing about it, when I turn around, I have my body patch covered. <laughs> Anybody that sees me during the week, I'm bald, but you wear what else? <laughs> so, anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, shall we move on with the show? So we're going to stay on the positive note and we're going to have a good night and remember, thank you so much for all your support, for buying your tickets. Zest, really, really appreciate it. Trust me.